More than 5,000 people attended the Singapore Extreme Championships over the weekend. For some, it was to support the local athletes, and for others, it was to check out some of the hottest names in extreme sports. We speak to pro skater Trevor Ward to find out how skating differs from the other extreme sports. I'm Australian, I skateboard for a living, and um, I'm here in Singapore having a great time. Skateboarding for a living, how does that work out? How did you start? Uh, basically, I just got a skateboard when I was a kid, had a lot of fun on it, and then it progressed competitions, and then, uh, yeah, just went up the ranks in uh, amateur stuff, and then progressed to the USA and skated over there, and was like fortunate enough to get invited to contests, and uh, it just worked out like that, sponsorship and whatnot. Okay. So skateboarding, why skateboarding and not like any of the other extreme sports? Skateboarding's the best, the rest of them. <laughs> you ride a bike to go to the shop, you ride in line if you... Oh, girls ride in line as well, so... <laughs> skateboarding's the toughest and the best. Oh, and okay. it's the most in- inventive and basically every sport steals our tricks and names them, so... Yeah, I've noticed that like a lot of the extreme sports, so to speak, all share like similar names and all that. Why is this so though? Because they steal them from skateboarding. Skateboarding was actually the first uh, really, not not bike riding. Bike riding's been around forever, but within the freestyle realm of it and all of that, um, skateboarding was there first before inline, and they steal our tricks. Wakeboarding does the whole lot. So, um, and uh, our fashion, we're just we're just leaders actually of the extreme sports um, world. Okay. So, what do you think of the extreme sports scene in Singapore compared to like Australia or the US and all that? Yeah, look, um, it's really good. I've been coming to Southeast Asia for, for like nine years now, and uh, the level of skating has got so much better. And like with parks like this, everyone's just going to get so much better. So it's um, it's pretty amazing, and it, and people are into it, and uh, it's cool. Okay, how about like when you were starting out, when you first started skating, did you have like this kind of facilities, or what kind of like uh, skate facilities do you have? Uh, when I started skating, there was no facilities. Um, basically, I got four bricks and put some plywood up to it and learn how to jump over that and just jump downstairs and uh, went for it from there and then my dad built me a ramp in my backyard and uh, then facilities started getting built and you know I'd have to drive kilometres to go on hundreds of kilometres to go and ride other stuff and yeah there was nothing around this is amazing yeah. okay so do you think that sort of detracts from how skating was evolutionized to be? Like, you know, it first started out as like somebody with a skateboard going through the world, you know, and now it's become like very commercialized, it's become like such a sport. And what do you think of it now? I think it's great. Like it, everything helps, you know, you either love your sport for what it is or you don't love it. And if you don't love it, people see through you and, you know, they know that you're just there trying to do it to make money. Man, if you really love your sport, you'll do it no matter what. Sometimes you got money, sometimes you got no money, sometimes you got sponsors, sometimes you don't. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Like if I didn't have any sponsors, I'd still be there tomorrow skating. It it just it's part of you, so yeah, that's just what happens. Okay, so what's your hardest trick that you've ever attempted and managed to do it? Uh, I managed to do it. I've attempted many and really hurt myself, but uh, uh maybe seven twenty is probably the hardest trick. Um, I've only done a few of them. Um, and yeah, there's a there's a bunch that are really hard. So, but that's probably the hardest and most spectacular, I guess. Okay. So we see all these people that are like trying to do all these tricks, and they always get injured. So is the injury like they always just bounce back up, and they seem to be okay? But are the injuries really horrific? No, not. It's not really that horrific. Other sports, you know, um, you see. Uh, football players get their legs broken and whatnot. It's it's no real difference, you know. You learn to fall, and um, there's actually an art in falling, which is um, you know you save your body, and you know you just get up and keep going. You do get a few hard ones where you like you can't walk properly, but um, yeah, it's it just goes hand in hand. You learn how to fall. If you don't learn how to fall, don't skateboard. Okay. So what is your tip? For aspiring skaters, is that your tip or...? No, my tip is just get out there and skate every day. That's all you can do because if you're not out there skating every day, it doesn't matter, like, guys here, it's humid, it's raining now, but, like, it's humid, it's hot. It's hard to skate in those conditions, but there's guys in Vegas and Florida that are now big-time pros and, you know, they had to put up with the same conditions. So these And they never had a skate park like this. So I expect three years, guys, you better be the best. Thanks a lot, man. For more on the Singapore Extreme Championships, check out our other Razer TV videos.